Well, hi everyone. Today's story is called the excretory system. Let's think about first the digestive system. What are some of the purposes of the digestive system and its organs? Maybe processing food, breaking it down into nutrients that the body can use, and getting rid of waste that the body can't use. Your bodies produce both solid and liquid waste. Remember, the digestive system deals with a solid waste, eliminating it in the form of feces. Today, you're going to learn about the excretory system. This is the system that processes liquid waste. So as I read the story in just a few minutes, I want you to listen for the ways that the digestive system and the excretory system are similar and different. But before we read, let's take a look at some of the words we'll hear today. The first word we have today is bladder. This is one I want you to include in your vocabulary books. A bladder is a balloon-like sac in which urine collects before it is excreted from the body. Bladder. Be sure to add that to your vocabulary book. The next word you'll hear in our story today is the word regulate. Regulate means to control something. The next word is sweat. That's an easy one. Sweat is the moisture that comes out of your skin's pores due to exercise, or fever, or heat, or even fear. Another word for sweat is perspiration. The next word is toxic. Toxic is poisonous. And the last word that you're going to hear today is excrete. Say that for me, excrete. Excrete means to expel or get rid of something. Our bodies excrete moisture in the form of sweat and urine. Let's get ready to read our story. So today you're going to learn about two more organs that are part of the excretory system. They filter waste from the blood. I want you to listen carefully for the names of these two organs. And don't forget, listen to how the digestive system and the excretory system are both similar and different. Hey look, there's Nick Nutri. Humans are exposed to lots of toxins or poisons in the environment. Your body may take in toxins through the air or through the food that you eat. If these toxins hang around in your body too long, they may become toxic or poisonous to you. The amazing human body has ways of getting rid of these toxins before they become harmful. Last time we met, you learned how your digestive system works to process food in usable nutrients, separating the nutrients from the sometimes toxic waste materials. At the end of the digestive process, some food is not completely broken down by the intestines. This leftover solid waste, called feces, is pushed out of your anus at the end of the digestive tract. Bowel movements contain your body's solid waste. But what happens to the body's liquid waste? Where does it go? Some waste leaves your body through your skin. Other waste is processed through a system like the digestive system. Just as the digestive system processes solid waste, there's a system that processes liquid waste. It is called the excretory system. To excrete means to expel or get rid of something that is not needed. Toxins or poisons are definitely not needed in your body. Let's begin by talking about the liquid waste that leaves the body through your skin. We call it sweat. What is another name for sweat? It is also called perspiration. You already know that your skin is the largest body organ. It covers your entire body surface. Sweat glands below the surface of the skin help rid the body of waste through perspiration. When you perspire, water, salt, and other waste flows out through these microscopic sweat glands. They're excreted from all parts of your body. If you do not bathe for a while, you begin to smell this waste as it builds up on the surface of your skin. The body's main liquid waste is urine, sometimes called pee. Urine is cleaner than spit, believe it or not. Unlike the saliva in your mouth, urine contains no bacteria. It is about 96% water and 4% waste. This means that if urine were divided into 100 parts, 96 of those parts are water and only four of those parts would be waste. Like feces, urine passes through several different organs as it makes its journey through your body. Today, we'll take a look at those organs 
that are part of the excretory system. The kidneys are the primary organs of excretion. Everybody stand up for a minute. Let's see if you know where your kidneys are located. Let your arms hang by your sides. Your kidneys are in line with your elbows at the back, at your back above your waist. Reach around, place your hands just above your waist on either side of your backbone. Your two kidneys hang near your spine one on either side of your backbone, in the middle of your back. Your bottom ribs and layers of fat protect the kidneys. Do you have a pretty good idea of where your kidneys live? Okay, go ahead and sit down and let's see how they work. Arteries or muscular tubes carry blood from other parts of your body to your kidneys. These two dark red bean-shaped organs act like washing machines for the blood, cleaning it of waste and toxins. As the blood flows to your body cells, it passes through the kidneys where millions of tiny microscopic filter tubes capture the waste products and excess or extra water. Think of a kitchen strainer or a sieve. Have you ever cooked pasta poured into a strainer? The liquid flows through and the strainer catches the pasta. Your kidneys act a little like that kitchen strainer. They filter or separate the liquid waste from the blood. Clean blood travels to your body's cells, while the liquid waste, called urine, is collected in each kidney. Urine drains out of both kidneys through two tubes called ureters. The ureters lead from the kidneys to your urinary bladder. The bladder is a muscular storage bag located in the lower part of your abdomen, which is below your waist. When it gets full, we can feel it. The stretchy sac-like muscle stores urine. It's a little like a water balloon with three openings, the two ureters that connect the kidneys, and a third opening at the other end of the bladder called the urethra. As urine passes into the bladder through the ureters, the walls stretch and the rubbery balloon begins to fill. Nerve endings in the muscular bladder walls send signals to the brain that the bladder is full and about to burst. That's when you know it's time to urinate. urinate pass, urine passes out of your body through the urethra, the tube at the bottom of the bladder. Just like the anus, the urethra has a muscular gate called a sphincter muscle that opens and closes to let the urine pass. When the sphincter muscle is tightened, urine stays in the bladder. When it's relaxed, urine is released. This is a voluntary muscle, which means you are able to control its opening and closing but you need to listen to your brain when it tells you it's time to go to the bathroom. The excretory system works the same for both boys and girls. The only difference is in the length of the urethra. The urethra is longer in boys than it is in girls. In addition to preparing liquid waste for removal from the body, the kidneys also regulate or control the amount of salt and nutrients in the blood. They help to maintain a state of balance in the body by controlling the amount of water your body loses, balancing the amount of water excreted with the amount of water in the body. If you have too much water in the body, you may feel bloated or swollen. If there's too little water in the body, you may become dehydrated or dried out. Dehydration can cause serious damage to your body. That is why it's important to drink lots of water and never let your body dry out. Let's name all the different parts of the excretory system. The excretory system is made up of the kidneys, the bladder, two tubes that connect them, called the ureters, and the urethra, the final tube in the process. It may appear less complicated than the digestive system, but it is just important for filtering the blood and helping your body get rid of toxic substances. You probably know that liquid waste is excreted from your body a bit more frequently than solid waste. That's because it does not stay in the bladder as long as solid waste stays in the rectum. We've been talking a lot about getting rid of the body's waste, but along the way you've learned that the body turns a lot of the food that you eat into nourishment and provides your body with the energy that it needs to grow and repair itself. What are the good parts that are carried through your blood and stored in your body called? Next time we'll find out just exactly what nutrients are and what you can do to make sure that you're getting enough of them. See you next time. Until then, 
make sure that you listen to your body and respond when it sends you messages. That's really important to maintaining good health.